All right, folks, we are back with the first Starbase summary of 2025. You may have noticed some of the fonts are going to be a little bit bigger here. We made some changes to the overlays to make them a little bit easier to read on mobile devices. Almost half people watch these videos on mobile devices like phones and stuff, so be on the lookout for that. We're kicking it off with Booster 14 being lifted onto the launch mount, potentially for the final time before it actually flies. Well... One way to find out. There it is out there on the launch mount. Look, I'm just going to say launch mount. <laughs> Resolution for 2025. And remember, I've seen a couple people like, oh gosh, I just want the ambient sounds. If you'd like to just listen to the ambient sounds, you can always turn on the ambient only track if you think you know everything about Starbase and you don't want to come along for a ride of discovery and imagination with me, your diligent hosts. Talking about the little bin to remove the scaffolding. That little yellow bin we mentioned in the last video, which was a year ago. All right, we got that out of our system. Uh, a lot of times we see those little bin shuttle things being used to gather up the scaffolding. Removal of scaffolding is a good sign that they are getting ready to go for flight or testing of some sort. Of course, we think this is coming up on flight here. Given miscellaneous comments and schedules and things like that that have been tossed around. But, I mean, honestly, the fastest way to remove that scaffolding would probably be just to launch the thing. Uh, if you want to use the scaffolding again, <laughs> probably best to have people remove it, like you see here. Moving right along. A little bit more work. That hatch. I love that little hatch there. There's not like an exposed stick. Uh, staircase that sticks up above the level of the launch mount top surface so they have that little hatch and there's like a little ladder it's almost like the opposite side of your attic ladder if you have an attic ladder in your home over here more work happening on the chopsticks as well and then down here at the tank farm still plumbing in hippos which is a very weird bit of terminology but it's what's happening here these so oh, I, they're actually taking them apart were they test fitting them were they trying to see if things lined up and they didn't quite line up or something? I guess we'll find out when they put pieces back on. Over at the assembly yard, wow, a lot of Boca Chica Air Force in the background there. Still working on that chopstick carriage. We've seen work happening on that assembly jig, sort of the temporary structure that's used to hold this up as they try to bolt it to the tower. Well, I mean, this whole assembly up as they bolt it to the tower, right? Not this specific part, but uh, they still haven't removed this scaffolding. I mean, yeah, they don't need to, right? Like, they're going to go for the next flight before they worry about the chopsticks, is my estimation. Here's a shot from Mary over at the uh, area we call sort of the reflecting pool. And then here is that chopstick staging jig. This is what we were talking about, the uh, sort of temporary structure, all painted red here. I mean, it comes that way. That they use to uh, sort of temporarily stabilize the chopsticks and carriage and all that sort of stuff as they bolt it to the second tower. Had a couple foggy days out there. Look at those. Is that high fog or low clouds? You be the judge. All right. Subcooler. Lift getting out of the way. We're going to pull in the little extension. Take down the scissor lift. <laughs> and then a truck passes and magically the pipe is being reattached. I, you know something? I don't know from the context of this. Was it a different pipe? Did they need to clean something up? Did they like? What did they need to do to get this thing on there? little curious that those bolts actually fit when it's at that big angle. Sometimes, if you don't have those flange faces exactly parallel, those bolts really don't want to go through, especially with those flanges look like they're inches thick each, right? And you got the hole that the bolt goes through, and if there's not a little bit of play, uh, extra room in the bolt hole so the bolt can sort of go through it at an angle, sometimes you can't even get those bolts to start. But there, they must have had a little bit of extra... The hole is a little oversized, so they could get that bolted together. Here we've got some grid fin testing. Caught this on Starbase Live. This is in real time this time. Wow, that's actually faster than I thought. I was like, all right, you're going to have to watch really hard to see it moving in real time. But, I, I mean, they have to move pretty quickly when they're controlling, uh, or I guess influencing, the trajectory of the rocket or the flight path of the rocket. There was the production site. Here is some more nose cones inside Star Factory. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the new font sizes. A couple of little other tweaks to the graphics as well, but uh, so many people watching these on tablets and phones and stuff, and sometimes those font sizes are really super small on those devices. 
Um, made a couple bit of refreshes for 2025, I guess you could say. Here we're looking at oh, <laughs> booster FTS work. You'll have to trust us a bit here. <laughs> I mean, th there you go, yes. The arrow in the little light, like a headlamp shining on the side of the rocket. That is where that big lift goes when they're working on the FTS, and they were up there for about the right amount of time. And it's also the right time in the process to work on the FTS. <laughs> it's just an honest, you're going to have to trust us on this, on what they were doing there. All right, there is that second launch mount they continue to work on over at the assembly yard. The paramedic truck there is, oh, they have Starbase paramedic vehicles. Uh, a bunch of the vehicles are labeled. It's one of the, not really Easter eggs, but if you watch the vehicles, some of them will say like Booster Tribe and the Tower Climbers and all these different folks that work in different areas of Starbase. The vehicles will be labeled different ways. Got some, that looks like some welding going on. Along the edge there. Y'all can correct me if that was cutting. It looked like he was attaching those two pieces. What are we are we marking? We're measuring. That's a tape measure. Making some marks there. I like it. We have a couple Gary the Grackles playing on the jungle gym here. <laughs> those things are everywhere. I don't I, I don't even know if they migrate or not. I just know that they're always here. So Grackles are all over Starbase. Oh, that's a really th a ladder on the side that the guy climbed down. They were climbing down a ladder. It's just straight up ladders, no staircases there. Now, oh, <laughs> see, this is this is a time where I really want to go and cross-reference things. This says subcooler waiting in storage. Was that the same one we just saw the other part getting bolted to? Y'all helped me out on that one. Was that a different one? It really did look like a similar angle there but uh, once again i'm not sitting here trying to spend five hours perfectly scripting out every single video we want this content to be fresh and up to date and if you want to explain in excruciating detail every little single thing in fact check every single little thing like i'll tell you if i don't know i, well, I don't know is that is that the way that is what did y'all think it was right because this is about fresh happenings at starbase not about trying to spend tons and tons of time explaining every single thing that's happening out there. It's like a, like a high-level overview of what's going on with people who want to just like keep an eye on all the different things that are happening. There, we've got quite a few shots from Jack here of Pad B and that temporary red jig. A little bit of cladding on there. Got the draw works there. Another shot of the temporary jig. Cable stayed a little bit. It's got some cables there. This has the chopsticks on it, so you know that it's pad A. We're really leaning into using orbital in the, in the labels. <laughs> I'm going to keep just saying pad A and launch mount and stuff like that. Let's see how many days I can keep that New Year's resolution. Y'all help me out. There's another shot of the top of booster 14. You can tell when it's Mary's cam or Jack's cam because it's uh, much clearer than some of the cameras that have lived out on the beach for two plus years now they do get a little wear and tear over time and the glass just doesn't get as clean as it used to anymore but that's why we mix it up we have the robotic cameras out there 24 7 to catch everything that's going on as much as we can and then we get in and we send out uh, mary or jack i mean i say we send out we don't even really send them out they just pay attention to what's going on and i'd say 90 percent of the stuff they catch and then maybe 10 percent of the stuff Somebody will be like, hey, this is going on. Go check it out. And they'll be like, thanks for the heads up. So potentially send Mary out or send Jack out is not really the right terminology to use there. Because they're paying attention to what's happening. Did we just... Yeah, we did. We booped the side of the uh, catch pads there. I guess they bump against the booster whenever it's catching it. So it's okay if the lift bumps against them as well. If they can't take a bump from a list, how are they going to lift? How are they going to catch a booster? Adding in some, what are we going to plant a shrubbery here? Are we scooching around things with a shovel? Are they filling in the bottom of those concrete? Things that like, are they, is this like a retention sort of thing that they're scooting dirt around with shovels? Okay, here we are working back with this again. It really does look like the same view, so I'm going to think this is just the same thing. 
continuing to bolt these together. I'm going to feel really silly if, like, the number of bolts is different. Obviously, it's a different, totally, totally different thing, right? Another shot of pad A. Had quite a few days where it was just a little... Like, the weather was not fantastic out there over the holidays. There's a shot of pad B. Those clouds stopping the sun from hitting our solar panels. We, we've been watching it. We did a, a bunch of changes to make sure we can manage the power out there. And when we don't need them, we shut down a lot of devices we don't need. Ah, okay, this is a big thing. The launch mount alignment pins were being removed. Those alignment pins help guide the booster into position when they're putting a booster on the launch mount, but then the pins are removed before launch. So you could look at that and say, well, if they're removing those pins, they don't intend to take the booster off again. They don't really need it to take it off. But in any event, we'll see when this thing's going to fly. Is it the 10th? Is it a couple days after the 10th? No official word from SpaceX yet, but you know for a fact that we will be watching. Folks, as always, thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you saw something interesting, and we will see you nerds later.